Hey guys, welcome back to Glam Finds, and I'm here with another fragrance review. I know I've been gone for a minute, but I have one that was released probably a few weeks ago. I'm, I'm still trying to catch up. From the House of Authenticity, it's Authenticity Suede Mist. First of all, uh, I do want to acknowledge this. I am in a new place, so the room is a little different. I know the background is a little bit brighter. I'm working on trying to add stuff. I quickly threw this up uh, just to have something so it wasn't just completely white. Um, but this is going to look different once I'm done. The acoustics might be a little bit different as well. Anywho, let's go ahead and talk about this fragrance. I'm going to read you the notes and I'm going to tell you what uh, you're going to smell. I didn't read the notes until I wore this maybe three or four times. And then I was like, okay, let's look at the notes. All right, so the top notes are lemon, lime, fig, bergamot, apple, and cassis. Mid notes are lavender, marine notes, ozone, cyclamen, anise, chamomile, pink peppercorn, tobacco leaves, jasmine, lily, and clove. And then the base notes are suede, smoky sandalwood, cedar, patchouli, orris, frankincense, black amber, musk, oak moss, and gaiac wood. Okay, so there's a lot of notes. Now, what you're really going to smell. When this opens up, I'm gonna tell you this. From top to dry down, you're gonna get the suede and it's this kind of nice dry suede. It is not like a sweet leather like you're used to in a lot of um, modern day fragrances. No, this is a like actual dry suede. And it's accompanied by some of the sweeter notes like apple and you're definitely gonna get the citrus. So I think the most prominent thing you're gonna smell in the opening is the citrus and the suede. As it starts to dry down, the citrus kind of takes a back seat, but it does carry through the mid. So you're gonna get that citrus through the mid as well as the top. In the dry down is where it's not gonna be as present, but it's gonna be a little deeper into the dry down where you lose the citrus. Now the sweeter notes like the apple, the apple isn't a prominent apple note, but there is that sweetness that you're gonna get from it through the life of the fragrance. I will tell you this, it came off sweeter on skin when there was a breeze around me versus like on strip, I don't get as much of the sweetness. So I'm gonna tell you that right there. The tobacco leaf does show up and then as it dries down, it's more of like a suede with a sandalwood and a little bit of other woods and then a little bit of sweetness coming through. It never really turns into a completely sweet fragrance on me. Again, the only time I'm really getting that extra sweetness is when I'm outside and that breeze is hitting it. That's in true authenticity form to me though. Every time I have an authenticity fragrance, it changes every time I go outside. It's like an indoor outdoor experience, which I think is kind of cool, but that's maybe just on my skin. I don't really know. If you guys have experience with that, drop it down below. People are probably curious about that, but when I go outside, typically it picks up a little bit of sweetness, um, which is kind of cool because you can afford a little bit more sweetness when there is a breeze on it, never gets cloying. I'm gonna say this out of every authenticity fragrance, I feel like this one is the most niche. Now, obviously it's a niche house, they only make fragrances, but this one may be a little bit more polarizing than the rest. Authenticity's lineup, pretty much has all people pleasing fragrances, super easy to wear, super easy to reach for. But this one I think is gonna be different, it's gonna be niche. If you're looking for something different in the house of authenticity, this one has the most uniqueness because yeah, it's a suede fragrance, there are suede fragrances out there, but I just feel like this one does it really different. At least to my nose, again, you're gonna get that citrus and that dry suede in the opening and the sweetness is all in the background. I don't feel like it's a sweet leather fragrance like you're gonna get in pretty much every other leather fragrance. So for me, do I like it? Yes, I find it unique. I like the smell of actual suede. This smells like actual suede. Real suede doesn't smell sweet, just so we're all on the same page, it smells like suede. So I think it's really nice and I think it's really cool that it's unique and I like the whole way that it changes and the opening and the dry down aren't the same. This changes a lot. It's not a linear fragrance. Now let's talk about performance. This is an authenticity fragrance, so I didn't overspray because I've learned my lesson with authenticity. Typically when I spray authenticity too many times, I go nose blind and this is new, so I know it's just gonna get stronger. I wore three sprays when I wore it and it just, it was just fine. I don't feel like I oversprayed. Again, it will probably get more potent as the bottle gets older. So for me, with how new this is, three sprays was more than enough. I wore it to work, no one was offended, but you know, it was definitely something that they could smell. Whew. 
who can wear this fragrance? Okay, so I would say that this is unisex, maybe leaning a little masculine because it's not as sweet as a lot of other leather fragrances. And I think leather and suede fragrances typically are more often than not marketed towards men. However, if you like a nice dry suede note and you want something that's really unique, I think you could pull this off. If you're younger, and you like drier fragrances that maybe don't have a ton of sweetness, I think this could work. And I feel like more than likely a more mature crowd is gonna gravitate towards this. What seasons would you wear it? Okay, for me personally, I would say fall and winter, but I wouldn't hesitate reaching for it in spring. Transitional seasons are probably more perfect for it because I don't feel like there's anything that's too like sweet in it, but I think it does the trick on a cooler day. I would definitely avoid wearing it in the summer because I don't feel like I would wear too many leather or suede fragrances in the summer. So transitional seasons for me work best, uh, but it would be just fine in the winter as well. When could you wear it? Honestly, I think this would be more of a formal fragrance because again, it's a suede fragrance. You can wear it during the day or at night, but I think it really leans more towards the evening a little dressed up. I wouldn't go too casual with it. You could wear it on a date night. Maybe not a first date though. Someone you've already gone out with a couple times. I feel like if they know you're a frag head, this will go over just fine. I don't feel like it, it's gonna offend anybody, but it's not your typical designer uh, level fragrance. So it's a little different, does things a little bit differently. But I think anytime you're gonna dress up, this would be a really good one to reach for. Cause again, you're gonna smell unique and that's kind of nice. And it just dresses up really nice. Leather, suede, I feel like those are ones that I prefer to dress up. Now price wise, the Authenticity website, as of the time I'm filming this, is still writing a 15% off coupon. Um, if I can find the code, I'll link it down below. This 60 mil runs $39.99, but I think you still can get the 15% uh, the off, if not, there's a 10% off and I'll link that down below. Um, and these pretty much last forever because again, it's pretty potent. If you've tried this fragrance, cause I know I'm reviewing this a little bit late, comment down below, let us know what you think. As always, thank you guys for watching. Remember to like this video if you liked it, be subscribed to my channel, hit that notification bell to get notified when I drop a new video and I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye.